I'll watch some TV. It'll help me to relax. Welcome back to the Ren and Stimpy recap. Last week we talked about Powder Toastman and also did the tier list for season one. And today we're taking a look at Ren's Toothpick. And with these hands, I hope the fate of millions. We start off with the title card and like it's not very good. It kind of just looks like one of my thumbnails with the picture of Ren and Stimpy being put in front of a background. The imagery isn't really the problem. I think the title card could have looked way better if more was done with the colors or something. It looks just kind of meh. The music is good, but not that fitting for the episode, really. The episode kicks off with the frame of a house which is the current residence of the two. This one is new, they haven't lived here before and might never live here again. Looks nice though. Ren's sleep is getting interrupted by Stimpy brushing his teeth extremely loudly. The sounds here are really unpleasant for the viewer as well as Ren, especially with headphones, it's like screeching. Uh, I am brushing my teeth, Ren. Boy, what a waste of time. We find out that Ren has apparently never brushed his teeth, which he seems oddly proud of. Are you talking kid stuff? Crazy stuff! I've never brushed before, and I'm not about to start now! <laughs> Stimpy shows off his teeth, which are looking great. And then Ren shows his. <laughs> this is actually a decent close-up frame. I think it's gross, but to the extent that I can appreciate it and not just be grossed out. The art is pretty good is what I'm trying to say. Ren's teeth are not though. Ren goes to sleep again and I got so confused by this lightning on him here. Until I realized it was the moonlight. It's so blue. He wakes up with toothaches and we get another decent close up on his face as we can really feel his pain here. Stimpy starts telling him a story about the tooth beaver which makes this like the third or fourth episode with the beaver in it so far. I got no comment on that, it's just a bit of a more obscure animal, so that, that's fun I guess. And wherever there's teeth, you'll find the tooth beaver. And where you find the tooth beaver, you'll find a nerve ending. <laughs> the tooth beaver lives inside a tooth and bites on the nerve ending, which I find extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Ren does a reused scream and we get a time card, which to my knowledge is something new to the show. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think we have had one so far before this. Well, hello, Ren. I guess you're ready to brush your teeth with me tonight. Stimpy brushes his teeth again, and this time Ren is joining him. Or actually, he isn't. Instead, his teeth breaks. <laughs> Tooth parts are just falling out of Ren's mouth when he sleeps, and that gotta hurt. He wakes up looking like 
I don't know what, and finds out all his teeth are gone. This image is disgusting to me. I don't know if it's just simply gross, or if it makes my teeth hurt, or what it is, but I just can't stand looking at the nerve endings. Ren's mouth smells so bad that even the tooth beaver now leaves. And I just keep having to look at Ren's gross mouth. Taste! Cripes! What is that smell? Man! I don't know, man, but it's ruining my meal! The smell from his mouth angers the flies that are eating from Stimpy's litter box. Okay. I really like the fly designs. It's actually one of my favorite character designs in the whole show so far. Hey, 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 hey! We're trying to eat here! And you stand here airing out your stinky old gum hole! The flies go to Ren and scream at him for stinking more than the litter box. And now Ren is super sad, understandably. <laughs> Stimpy tries cheering him up by talking more about nerve endings and I don't really want to think about nerve endings. At least you still got your nerve endings. My nerve endings? WHAT GOOD ARE THEY GONNA DO ME?! He tells Ren that he should put those nerve endings under his pillow and the tooth fairy will give him money. And he's a bit confused but he is trying to help at least. Now Ren starts pulling out his nerve endings and I can barely even stomach watching this. It's effective, gross out, I guess, but I just hate it. I smell something stinky! The two fairy arrives and it's an old man, and now I'm even more uncomfortable. The nerve endings are alive because of course they are. The fairy is out of cash so he puts a bowl of lint under the pillow instead. Morning! Ren wakes up excited but gets sad when he shakes the pillow. At least Ren doesn't have those nerve endings anymore. That's something I guess. He is still gross though. How stampy! Happy birthday, Ren! For me? He shouldn't have. Stimpy gives Ren a giant tooth as a birthday present and he puts the whole thing in, which gotta be really painful. Go ahead, try it on! Wow! Oh, Stimpy! And then, of course, more moving nerve endings because Stimpy took out his own tooth to give to Ren, apparently. It's a happy ending, and then a log ad that goes on for almost two minutes, and then episode over. This was the grossest episode so far, easily, and I didn't like it. This is the first episode where I have pretty much nothing to praise. I guess it's a nice message that might make more kids brush their teeth. But that's it. And also, Ren and Stimpy is the kind of show that will like have really terrible messages for kids, so... Yeah, it's, kind of, it's gonna get mixed up in there. The story is relatable and pretty realistic, but it's just the worst kind of relatable. If TV is supposed to be escape from reality, this episode gives the least appealing parts of reality back to the viewer. I wanna see Ren and Stimpy go on epic space adventures, not 10 minutes of disgusting tooth problems in one location. There's just so little going on here and while that might work in certain episodes, 
It's just a mixture of boring and grosser. That's the worst thing about the episode really. All I can do is point out what's gross and then everything else is very uninteresting. Ren's toothache wasn't a funny episode either. There was nothing here that I could point out as a good joke and even the dialogue felt stale. There's not even really a fun fact here. There were a couple of animation errors and apparently the DVD version cut some stuff down. That might make the episode a bit more enjoyable but again being boring is just one of the episode problems. All in all not a good episode in my opinion and not one I got really any enjoyment out of. Hopefully this is just one time dud. Join me next week where we're taking a look at man's best friend. Uh, <laughs> goodbye folks.